Hey, what's up, Box Rep family? Make sure you leave a like, a comment, and make sure you subscribe for more videos like this. I appreciate y'all, and let's dig into this video. Oh, that I'm the best ever. I'm the most brutal and vicious and most ruthless champion there's ever been. There's no one can stop me. Lynx is a conqueror. No, I'm Alexander. He's no Alexander. I'm the best ever. There's never been anybody that's ruthless. I'm Sonny Liston. I'm Jack Dempsey. There's no one like me. I'm from their claw. There's no one that can match me. My style is impetuous. My defense is impregnable. And I'm just ferocious. I want your heart. Woo! All right, guys. So... We got another fight on our hands. It is official. Shakur Stevenson, Sugar Shakur Stevenson. T. Stevenson has came in here in this fight with a made-up mind. He just hurt. He Versus Frank the Ghost Martin at 135. Marinas is hurt. He's wobbled. And Marinas barely remaining up front. Martin loading. Oh, uh, man. Boxing has been good to us. It will be for the WBC vacant title. Uh, as y'all know, Devin Haney did have that title, but they recently made him the champion in recess, which means if Devin Haney chooses to come back to 135 or whatever at any point in his career, he can fight whoever is the winner between Frank Martin and Shakur Stevenson. So Shakur or Frank will be a champion at 135. So this is Frank Martin's first title shot uh, at this weight class. So this is going to be a banger. Uh, Shakur Stevenson is his first shot at 135. Of course, he's been a champion at 130 and 126. So, it's nothing new to him. That jury is nothing new. So, man, it's gonna be it's gonna be a great fight. But what I want to touch on first, this is a PBC versus top ranked promotional fight. So, what we're seeing now in boxing is the turn is a, is a, is a pretty big shift. Like we all know that all that. Uh, your across the street talk has been going on for the last what 10 years, 12 years, whatever the case may be, come from the Floyd Mayweather area, uh, era all the way until as of late. We all know that the recent fight that we had between Terrence Crawford and Earl Spence, bro, that that's been drawn on for the last five, six years because of that talk. Oh, you on this side of the street type of talk, so. It is good to see that these guys are mixing it up. Um, the last big fight that we had that was cross promotions, it did very well. You know, we, we had the Tyson Fury versus Deontay Wilder, uh, the NUA versus uh, Cool Boy Steph. That was a cross promotional fight as well. So it can be done. Uh, I'm excited to see it. You know, ever since the Floyd Mayweather versus Manny Pacquiao, we all know how that went. Pacquiao was stalled out essentially for, you know, six, seven years from facing Floyd. And they say, you know, they were too old or whatever the case may be. Uh, so this is, you know, it's good to see that these young guns are getting a chance to fight each other at the youth of their career. This is a golden age of boxing that we are now in. So y'all sit back and enjoy it because these are the fights that we truly been waiting for. So with that being said, uh, Frank Martin is part of, I think it's uh, TGB or TBG promotions, uh, also Man Down promotions, and, you know, Shakur signed with top rank. Uh, man, it's going to be a banger, honestly. Shakur, we all know he is the defensive wizard. You know what I mean? They don't call that man Sugar Shakur for nothing. So, uh, Lee's getting hit. As far as copy box numbers, uh, Frank Martin, we know he's a defensive wizard as well. That's why they call the man a ghost. Both guys have offensive firepower. Uh, to me personally, how I see it going, man, y'all going to have to wait for that. But it's going to be a good one. Honestly, it may be fight of the year candidate. I ain't going to lie to you. I think it's going to be a chess match, a, a high-paced chess match. I ain't going to lie, but I don't think it's going to be just something boring. It's going to be a spectacle to see, really. Um, it will be high-paced at the very beginning, I feel. Um, towards the end of the fight, I don't think nobody getting stopped, to be honest with you. I don't see that. I mean, I don't know. I don't know, bro. <laughs> Because Shakur, you know, he can, when he starts landing those shots, he can get you out of there. 
Um, it, of course, it's not knockout power, but it's those accurate shots that keep coming at you, keep coming at you, those pinpoint accurate shots. Frank Martin does have power, you know, power in both hands. So does he hit Shakur, though, with those shots? I don't know. It's going to be tough to even land those shots. That's always been the thing with Shakur versus Tank talks is, okay, we understand Tank is a phenomenal puncher, but Tank also has a very low uh, punch output. Shakur Stevenson gets hit least in boxing. So that's going to be, I love that fight the most just because, man, that's going to be something crazy to see. And to be honest with you, both guys, Frank Martin and Shakur, however way it goes, win, lose, or draw, Bro, we still should be able to see those guys get in there against a Tank Davis or whatever the case may be. Let's see these guys continue to mix it up, you know, bring back the 80s, 90s boxing where guys with L's, you know, getting in there with the best and still, you know, upsetting these guys. So um, the narrative definitely is shifting. Uh, man, this is going to be – this is a boxer's – a boxers, a boxing fans dream fight. I ain't gonna lie to you. Uh, two skilled guys, two guys accurate shots, two guys defensive prowess. Uh, I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't know what other fights that I even want to see. We already getting the Charlo versus Canelo. We spoke. Well, we know the head the heavyweight. Hey, bro, y'all gotta step it up, man. I'm be honest with y'all. Uh, the Tyson Furies, what are you doing? Um, Deontay Wilder, we want to see you get back in the ring. These these little guys, they getting it in. The heavyweights, bro, y'all slacking. Anthony Joshua, the last one that fought, you know what I mean? We still haven't seen Wilder. We ain't seen Fury this year. I mean, <laughs> I guess we seen Fury in that little fight versus Chisora. That wasn't anything. But, yeah. You know, heavyweights, we want to see y'all, you know, step it up and put the pedal to the metal. Stop outpricing yourselves. So, Shakur versus Frank Martin, man, I think this is going to set the tone for next year, especially because we're going to have these promotion co companies start to work a bit closer to each other. So, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section, man. Uh, who wins that fight? Frank Martin, Shakur Stevenson, and y'all explain to me why. I have I made a post uh, not too long ago, and Shakur, it was Shakur, Haney, Tank, and Frank Martin. Shakur was leading it by 60 or 70% in the polls out of those four guys. So now that this fight is right here in front of us and we actually start to break it down and look at it, who do y'all got winning, Frank Martin or Sugar, Sugar Shakur Stevenson? So anyways, until next time, that is a breaking news. Y'all make sure y'all stay tuned. Tomorrow I will be dropping a interview, either tomorrow or Thursday, one of the two. I'll be dropping an interview with Steve Nelson himself. Uh, it was a great interview. Of course, he is a stable mate of Terrence Crawford, and he's going to give us the inside scoop on a lot of things. So y'all make sure y'all stay tuned. Y'all check out the other videos. I appreciate y'all for, uh, for showing support. And we're going to keep it going. Box your family. We out. This should look good. <laughs>